Okay, let's talk about how to recruit, hire, and retain great talent. First of all, why is it so important? Well, because all statistics show right now that easily 30 to 50% of good candidates that you hire begin to look for new jobs within the first 90 days of when you've hired them. The amount of time, energy, and, co and money that it's costing you to find them when they start looking within the first 90 days on finding something different. So we have to be able to curtail this. Otherwise, you're always going to be revolving and turning over people and get very frustrated because you're not able to build your team. So the place to start looking is how you're handling your onboarding process. If you have a correct view on what should happen during the onboarding process, you will find and keep great talent for a long period of time. If you're not attracting good talent, then the recruiting phase of your onboarding process is not working. And if you're attracting good talent, but you're not able to help those team members become awesome, good performing team members during the first 90 days, then also your onboarding process needs to be revisited. Here, let me show you how to start looking at this in a proper way. All right, so let's take a look at the onboarding process. First, I'll show you the incorrect approach, and then I'll show you the proper correct approach. All right, you have seven months here of onboarding, and on the left-hand side is a contributing factor to show how much a person can contribute and become productive in the company. The first three months is what we set our goal for, and we normally set a goal that says we want them to be very high at producing within the first three months. So we provide some initial training, and then we say that it is reasonable to expect for them to be climbing in their performance within the first month in this fashion then so that by the second by the time the second month comes across we should be seeing much more improvement and by the third month we should be seeing a high level of performance otherwise we may consider them to not be team members however the harsh reality is that 25 percent of employees quit within the first 90 days or we have to dismiss them and the remaining employees are disengaged approximately 70 percent of the time this is the harsh reality this onboarding process does not work unfortunately this is what most companies practice but in his book, The First 90 Days, Michael Watkins from Harvard Business Press points out that all candidates come in at a deficit. They are trying to figure out the company. They're trying to figure out the culture. They spend an enormous amount of time draining resources. And that what we should be doing instead is having a higher expectation of growth over a six to seven month period and not three months. And that in order to accomplish this, the company, the managers, the departments have to provide oversight and coaching by the managers on a month to month, week in, week out, so that the employees have a chance of growth. And if by continuing oversight and coaching of the managers through month four and month five and month six, you're going to see an enormous amount of value created. And then it's reasonable to expect employees who have been onboarded on a regular basis in this fashion can continue to grow at a much higher level. Unfortunately, what I hear most of the time is supervisors and managers telling me, I don't have time to do it on a weekly basis. Well, you do it on a weekly basis for the first 60 days, then bi-weekly by the time you get to the 90 days, and then you do it monthly from month four to month seven, and you'll notice an incredible improvement. However, if you don't take out the time to do that, you're going to be left with this. This becomes your insanity because you're doing it over and over again. Nothing's different. So what I'm inviting you to do is take your glasses off and put on a new set of glasses and view it differently. View it differently with the potential and the opportunity to give people who are good candidates a chance to grow. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in the same rut as always. And here, Inc. Magazine points out that the th three top reasons why people quit in the first 90 days is you don't have a structured onboarding process. You don't have clear expectations and goals. See, that's the difference. If you do it on a weekly, bi-weekly, and then monthly basis, there's no way for the expectations not to be clear. And number three, training usually stops after your initial onboarding, but not with this new model. So rewind the video, watch it with your supervisors, get a team of managers to take a look at this. Give me a call. Let me know how I can help you. Keep an eye out. We're offering a webinar and some courses on how to build your onboarding process. Let me know how we can help you out. Thank you, guys.